so I don't have very much after or excuse me very much before video I don't have any but I do have some before photos um, and I'll be throwing those up on the screen so you can see basically uh, this project here we worked on this bed over here and we worked on this bed over here and it took several weekends to get all of the weeds out um, move several bushes there were two bushes here there was another bush there um, and it was just so bush heavy and this is one of the sunnier areas that I have in my yard so I really wanted to take advantage of that space and be able to plant some flowers and things of that nature now one of the issues that we have with this area is that the water uh, retention was just too much. I mean, at any point there could be two inches of water sitting over there in that area, which you know is not good for most plants. They cannot handle that much water. So we had to do some work on that and I will show you that over here. So it all starts because of this drain that comes off the house. So that's the gutter comes down and under the ground there was a tube um, which you can't see it but it's buried under those rocks and that tube goes all the way around here and it goes along the edge of this uh, this is the driveway and it goes all the way down all the way down to the sidewalk and all the way down there I don't know if you can see that rock right about there it goes under that um, walkway and on the other side of the grass and I don't know if it, this is still the lower part in our yard as well. So I think there's just too much water coming off of there at one point that that tube could not handle it. Um, because I don't believe that it was clogged anywhere. So we had to come up with a better solution. So what we decided to do was cut that off, that pipe, and no longer direct the gutter directly into that pipe. So we added this little catch basin and the gutter will be directed into that catch basin. And from that catch basin, there is a tube that runs underneath the rock. So we dug up this rock pathway right here. We dug up the rock pathway. You can see some of the tubes sticking out. We still have some more rocks that we need to add here, but this is just the, just the first start. Um, so we dug it out about um, six inches down maybe and filled it with rock. And the tube is in there so hopefully the water let me go around the other side so you can see this better the water from this edge will go in the water from that edge should go in and then all of it should come down through here and the goal really is to have it just come straight across the sidewalk I think that's the best way to get the most water out of this area the quickest and Obviously some water will still sink into that little ditch that we made and also permeate the soil that way as well. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that helps um, improve the drainage in this area so that all of these things that I just planted do not die. So let's go through what I have over here. Um, this is pompous grass and I thought it was supposed to be pink but I guess it's white. Um, it's looking really lovely. We'll have to cut that back here in a couple of weeks. I just planted a bunch of the tulip bulbs over here. I've got a couple pansies throughout just because um, I wanted to make it look nice for the first little round of being changed. This is a butterfly bush. It's not looking so great right now. Um, butterfly bushes can lose their leaves. Last year this one did not. It stayed healthy so I am a little bit concerned. Thinking maybe it was because of too much water um, but we'll see. Right here I have some white salvia. Which is, you know, it's all done with its season for now. But I had them sitting in pots and I really needed to get it in the ground. I also planted a couple bulbs right here. Um, back there is just a little trailing euonymus or I think it's called winter creeper. I moved it back there because I didn't have any other idea of what to put back there. And that thing just kind of goes everywhere but also doesn't look that great. So I don't know. And then I was really struggling to design around these two bushes let me see if I can go the other direction so you have so these are holly bushes and this particular variety requires a male and a female which you cannot see the sun is horrible today so I apologize but th this thing is just loaded up with berries so I did not want to remove it uh, we love having the birds come around and eat on the bushes but 
it's really hard to design around something that you don't intend to have in your garden. So I think it looks okay. I may add a rose bush or something right there. Um, right now I just have that hosta and I've planted a bunch of bulbs. All right, here we have a pink monarda, white echinacea, another pansy, that's another pink monarda. So it's pink monarda, white echinacea, pink monarda. And then this one is the um, Golden Globe Arborvitae. This is the first one that I have and I kind of wanted to mirror. So here we have the Golden Globe Arborvitae. Over here we have the Gold Mop False Cypress, I believe. So I wanted to mirror that gold color on both sides of this pathway. This is an azalea. I do not know what type of variety. I think it blooms like a pink color. And this, oh, this is like my prized possession right now. I hunted everywhere for it. It is a orange rocket barberry. And it does get little, little um, thorns on it. But for me, I didn't so much mind because I have a bunch of rose bushes. So I'm used to dealing with thorns. It's not that big of a deal. But it starts out in this green color and then the leaves turn to this purple color. And it is an evergreen, I believe, if I remember correctly. So it should keep some nice color over here um, the whole year. And it is hardy from zone, let's see, it's not jumping out at me, but I'm sure it's on that tag somewhere. Anyway, orange rocket barberry. Over here, it's hard to see in this light, but this is a black mondo grass, which I'm super excited to have. Another part of this project was removing the mulch from this area. Um, it's really narrow to try and plant something there in the mulch. I don't know I just didn't like the mulch it was always washing up on the sidewalk these rocks were already here so I just dug them up cleaned them off and laid them back on top we actually found two little snakes while I was digging that up I'll see if I can find the photo for you guys and attach it in here this to me is what had the most transformation got rid of the big bush got rid of the weeds got rid of the um, Kakuzi squash that was growing like crazy. Moved my husband's carnivorous plants over here. I'll show you a close up on those. Um, they, this should allow them to get more light and hopefully perform better. He has some struggles with them where they were in their other location, but we've got Saracenia, um, some type of variety. I believe that's a Poporia down there on the bottom. And then some Venus flytraps. Over here, are two peonies that I got in a trade. I traded some crepe myrtles um, that were also filled in this area that I needed to get rid of anyway. I picked up this for free on Facebook, so that was exciting. And I'm probably gonna put um, Trailing Black Eyed Susan over there. That's an azalea bush right here that gets like an orange kind of color, peachy salmon. Again, the two blueberry bushes. I don't have anything on this side. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do on that side yet, but over here is where I planted the black, white, and pink tulips. So I'm super excited about that. And then in the back here, um, I planted some irises that I had laying around. Thought that would be kind of neat. They should be tall enough to pop up over top of this azalea bush when it's their time to perform. And then just two sky pencil hollies uh, back here. I think that'll give this area some height, kind of hide the porch a little bit, but not too much. I think they get about six feet tall. Um, and this porch is probably eight feet tall. So I think that'll be nice. And then right here, I'm working on leveling out. This is where the front yard rain barrel is gonna go, which will make watering the garden way easier. So anyway, that's an update on some of the projects that we've been doing in the front yard. Um, I need to get out here and water everything at this point. Oh, and these are Nandinas, Firepower Nandinas, a little hedge right there. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you see some plants that you might want to use in your garden, particularly my favorite one, the Orange Rocket Barberry. Not sponsored, but if whoever makes Orange Rocket Barberries want to sponsor me, I will find other places for them to exist in my yard because I just think they're the coolest thing ever.